Miley's new haircut rocks the internet, Oprah gets added to the dictionary, and the real life Twilight Saga continues, ugh, coming right up on likes or yikes. Hey, I'm Pat Sandora with this week's biggest likes and yikes. Arguably the biggest story this week was Miley Cyrus and her new haircut, and I give a likes to her drastically short do. The 19 year old singer chopped off all of her long locks and went on a picture posting frenzy on Twitter. Other celebrities were getting in on the action too, but it was Miley who stole the show with all of her twit pics. But um, Miley, next time you take pictures, why don't you clean up your apartment first? Why is your floor so dirty? We asked you guys to vote on Miley's new haircut and 77% of you gave it a yikes. You guys are brutal. Likes to Oprah Winfrey, who finally got a phrase added to the dictionary. And no, it's not, you get a car and you get a car. Merriam-Webster added aha moment to the books, defining it as, a moment of sudden realization, inspiration, insight, recognition, or comprehension. Other words added to the dictionary this year, but not coined by Oprah, were a man cave, bucket list, and sexting. Stay classy, America. And finally, yikes to the continuing drama between Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart following their split. Pattinson made a few media appearances this week to promote his new film, but was very tight-lipped about his personal life. I mean, that's all we care about, right? And in the weirdest twist yet, Kristen Stewart's Panic Room co-star Jodie Foster wrote a letter to the Daily Beast saying, leave Kristen Stewart alone because we're putting too much pressure on young people in Hollywood. She goes on to say that if she was a young actor today, she would quit before she started. Kristen Stewart responded to the article saying, That's it for this week. If you want to get some more celeb news, photos, or leave your comments on this week's stories, head over to iVillage.com slash likes or yikes. We'll see you next week.